Former Union Minister Prahlad Patel and BJP National General Secretary Kailash Vijayvargya were among 28 MLAs sworn into the Madhya Pradesh cabinet this afternoon. Now, as many as 11 members of the new cabinet are from OBC or other backward classes category, underlining the BJP's ongoing efforts to balance the class and caste arithmetic ahead of next year's general election. Anurag Dwari joins in with all the highlights. I can see the ministers from all the areas because remember this time they have got two-third majority and I have seen ministers from Vindhi, from Mahakaushal, from Malwa, from Nimard and from Bhopal and uh, Narbadapuram divisions from Bundelkhand as well. But very interesting quote from former Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan, I would like to quote him that today is a good governance day and the birth anniversary of Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Today the cabinet ministers of the Madhya Pradesh government are going to take oath. I have faith that the government... Uh, 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 will be formed today is going to work for the development of the state under the leadership of PM Modi and CM uh, Dr. Mohan Yadav and uh, uh, you have seen those faces, those, those smiling faces and uh, you know ex-Chief uh, Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan was in our contact a few days back and uh, before that he was in other areas like Chandwada so it's a very interesting uh, dynamics you know the uh, former Chief Minister uh, uh, not being there and all other senior leaders including uh, former uh, Union Minister taking oath as uh, you know ministers in Madhya Pradesh under the leadership of Dr. Mohan Yadav who is supposed to be the junior. So uh, uh, it will be very interesting to see in coming days how this government functions because remember uh, if you add up uh, whatever announcements or uh, they have said as Modi ki guarantee this is go going to cost the state exchequer around 30,000 crore rupees and before these elections the entire state was surrounded by the posters of Ladli Behna Yojana saying that if we, you know, come again to power, this amount will be increased to 3,000 crore rupees. And if the government starts giving 3,000 crore rupees to 1 crore 31 lakh beneficiaries under the Ladli Behna Yojana, it will cost uh, the government around 45,000 crore rupees per year. That's huge. Right. Uh, given the fact that the, the, the state is under a debt of around 4 lakh crore rupees.